Well, they say that kids say the darndest things, but apparently they also invent the darndest things. Some amazing inventions to address comfort, safety, and even major problems affecting millions all around the world. Our very own Jason Aubrey talked to some of them today while they were all honored at the State House. The kids here today all had one thing in common, an unquenchable desire to invent things to help others. Nearly two dozen kids were recognized by their lawmakers today at the annual Kid Inventors Day at the State House, like Gabe Pollock Odoricio, who came up with a recipe for fire retardant paint. I've never really done something like big like this before. Today's inventions ran the gamut from public safety like his to comfort like Madeline Winholtz's cardamom. She hopes to someday sell the accessory for long car rides on Amazon. My mom uses that all the time. There were inventions for pets like Sophia Taylor's monster beef tug bone and others to help people who struggle to complete tasks like Gianna Nichols' smart headband. It's so fun to see all of other people, you know, my peers inventing things and changing the world because usually it's just something that we see adults doing. Tackling a deeply serious issue was Michaela Carrico from Columbus. Her redesign of an insulin plunger helps people get every drop of the expensive and vital medicine out of their vials. I always like to feel like I'm helping someone and I'm doing good for like the community and the world basically. Speaking of the world, Kenichi Waddle from Northfield was there with his World Water Helper, for which he now has a bona fide patent. By 2025, half the world will be living in water stressed areas and over and 2 billion people globally don't have access to clean drinking water. No matter if the problems were dire or simply an inconvenience, kids came up with these solutions and they say their peers could do the same. They would have a fun time coming up with an idea that they can solve and then sharing it to the world. I wish I had the time to show you all of the inventions here today because the kids came up with some really impressive stuff. But if you want to check out their work, you can do that at the Ohio State Fair later this year. Local for you at the State House, Jason Aubrey, NBC4.